working on Adventure Archives episodes, but I also really love working on videos where I can just go in, edit, don't have to write any music. The only thing that's stopping me is clicking things in buttons. It's just so great to just like, boom, bang, boom, bang, video's done, and you release it to the world. Oh, to a large extent, that's why I like the blog too. The blog's very straightforward. It's just producing, it feels good, it's like pow, pow. So I'm editing this solo video I did, it's coming along nicely. The problem that I'm having has nothing to do with the video though, it's that ever since I stopped eating after 8 p.m., I had to stop using food as entertainment. And not using food as entertainment or the cure for boredom helps so much with like every other facet of my life. But it's just missed so much. I just love eating in like those off moments. They're like, well, I don't, I need to take a break. I'm just gonna eat. But. Oh, I've stopped doing that and it's helped, but man, sometimes I miss it. Sometimes I miss it. July 24th? Today's the 24th? Canon R5 in seven days? Well, another good thing about not eating for entertainment is that when you finally do eat, it's a glorious occasion. On another note, by the time you're watching this vlog, there will have been a big gap in vlogs. I apologize for that, but I had to go film that video and now I'm editing the video. And it's gonna be a good one. So it'll be worth the wait. I just find it hard to jump back and forth between different projects because each project is a different thing, you know? And like filming a vlog, I have to completely forget about what I'm working on in the editing and instead work on, okay, how do these shots line up? Not that it's rocket science. It's certainly not rocket science, but do you see how I'm scum? You see how I'm scum. That's some scum in there, whatever that is. Okay, I'm gonna have to put Bali Run as top 10 running song of all time. If not, my current favorite. Well, it's definitely my current favorite, but oh, why is there still poison ivy on my legs? Anyway, that being said, it's time for a run. Woo! That was a workout, y'all. And that's done. Look at that poison ivy, that poison ivy's itching. Wait, I need those shoes. I need the shoes because it's time for that ring fit adventure. I've mentioned this before, but whenever I'm editing a video, it can be like opening Christmas presents. It feels that much fun. And then when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh man, I can't wait to get working on this video. This current solo hike that I'm working on right now is that. Oh, my computer's not in this room. Anyways, I'm gonna get to work on that. So here's kind of a weird thing. I was contacted out of the blue by the Long Island Retro Game Expo. This year they're not having the expo and they're doing a digital thing. And they were looking for panelists. And in 2008, I went to the launch event of Hideo Kojima's Metal Gear Solid 4. Anyway, one of the first guys in line, he was there too, but now he works for the expo. He saw my video, contacted me, and he was like, do you wanna be a panelist? And I was like, dude, I am totally unqualified for this. Are you serious? And he said, yes. And I was like, well, if you think I'd be a good fit, okay. But now I'm kind of freaking out about it. I'm like, I don't know if my panel could be any good, but I will do my best to make it good. I don't know. <laughs> he sent a little box. The event is going to be called Uplink, and I guess it's just lots of digital panels because we live in weird times. Oh, anyway, got a nice bag, Long Island Retro Gaming Expo, a nice t-shirt, Uplink, 
by Long Island Retro Gaming. A patch. A pin. On behalf of the entire LA Retro team, we cannot thank you enough for joining us for our first Uplink show next month. This obviously wasn't the year we all wanted to have, but it's the one we got. For our mutual fans, we're very excited that you are along for this crazy ride. Sincerely, Jill, Ryan, Gene, and the entire LI Retro team. Well, thank you guys. This is all fantastic. I would like to spread the wealth, and if anybody would like any of these items, let me know, and I will send them to you. Anyways, that panel is going to be August 8th, Saturday at 6.30 p.m., is that correct? Eastern time. I'm gonna do my best to make it a good panel. I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm like, I don't know if I can do that, but we'll see. Anyways. Yeah, let me know if you guys want any of that. Okay, the video is done. I'm rendering it right now. It should render lickety split, I hope. I actually had to finish editing it out here in the living room because it was so hot in that other room. Woo, feels good. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. You edit it, you film it, you edit it, you send it out. You don't waste any time. It's done. Let's move on to the next thing. Oh, it's so satisfying. I think it turned out pretty well. You will probably enjoy it. If you enjoyed our other stuff. I have been very hungry for the past hour though. It is time to eat. Come on. Come on. Okay, y'all, I got good news and bad news. Good news. A7S3 video leaked early. It looks like a monster. Bad news. It looks really expensive. Also bad news, the Canon R5, the one 4K video mode I would actually use all the time. Apparently it has very soft video and I'm not about that soft video life. So if I'm gonna be paying $4,000 for a camera, it better look as good as I want it to look. And I'm not talking about that 8K that's supposed to be the best video ever and from what I've seen it is. I can't use it if it only lasts for 20 minutes. I need one video mode that doesn't overheat to look fantastic. Sony a7S III, show me what you got. Oh yeah. It's Leaked B&H video? Come on, man. It's gonna, they're gonna premiere it in an hour and 15 minutes. Mm. Alright, show me what you got, Sony. I actually already pre-ordered it, but I still want to see what they got. Canceled the R5. Sorry. R5, you can't have mushy 4K video, man. You got clean, sharp, a blam! Okay, so I absolutely flipped out about the a7 III after I saw all the specs and everything. I forgot to press record apparently, but basically it checks every single box. There's only one box that it's missing, which is amazing stabilization. It still has good stabilization from what I've seen. They added digital stabilization, but everything. And it's not like the Canon R5. The Canon R5 is turning out to be a huge disappointment because the one 4K video mode that doesn't overheat doesn't look good. And it's like, yo man, I can't use 8K if it's only 20 minutes, I would love to. But not only that, it's $500 cheaper for this A7S III, and I already have the perfect lenses for it. The 20 millimeter f1.8, 55 millimeter f1.8. But anyways, it covers all of the bases. Flip screen, full frame, great low light, amazing autofocus, great battery life, dual card slots, 4K 120. The camera of my dreams. Stabilization is the only thing it's missing, and, and I can get around it because it's got that digital stabe. But oh, finally, finally a camera that does everything that, there's no reason, there's no reason that a camera couldn't have already done this, except for they just never bothered to put them all into one package. The Sony PR people beforehand were talking about, oh, whenever we do the a7S II successor, it's gonna not only meet expectations, it needs to exceed expectations. It more than exceeded expectations. It met all the expectations and exceeded them. Fantastic. September 24th, can't come soon enough. Oh, and I'm saving a bunch of money because I don't have to buy Canon lenses. Also, it has been a while since I have actually been able to edit in 4K. I've been editing in 1440p for a good while now, so. So, that will do it for today's vlog. If you see this right here, this is a 100,000 subscribers plaque that we got for Adventure Archives. Whew. Thank you guys for subscribing and watching all of these years. It was a long journey to that 100,000, but recent growth just like exploded. 
Anyway, if you'd like to see an unboxing and initial reaction to that, I'll leave a link in the description. But anyways, I was very excited about it. Still very excited about it. Uh, we ordered ones for the other guys too, so they're all gonna have one as well. They're really expensive. They're like $150 a piece. And we were like, that is really expensive, but we've worked a long time for this. It is worth it. Let's spend the money. Anyways, that's it for today's vlog. Stay tuned for that solo hiking video very soon. It should be live maybe Sunday, and I might release it early for patrons just to give them a bonus. It's not gonna be a paid post or anything. But anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Flip screen, full frame, amazing low light. What was the other one? Autofocus. Autofocus. <laughs>